thing was that I had some mental health challenges also at the time. And addiction, you know, was sort of a symptom. And so I had to face my mental health challenges too. I had to, uh, you know, get in recovery for that, especially for depression. And um, I had to get on the right medications there. And the medications I was taking, it actually said on the prescription bottle, do not drink. And so I knew in order for the medications to work, um, I couldn't drink. And today I don't have depression and I am happy. I do realize that, you know, there are life challenges and there are times when I don't, you know, feel well or I'm not happy, but that's just part of life. And I accept that. My name is Bill and uh, I had problems with alcohol and also prescription medications, predominantly things. I had migraine headaches, so I took stuff for that. I had daytime sleepiness and then I had problems sleeping at night. So I would take medications to help me with those types of things. And I got addicted. frustrating because um, I, you know, would drink at night just to have a, you know, a nightly cap. And uh, it started getting to where I had to have one every night. And then with the medications, I, you know, got migraine headaches. And so I was prescribed medications for that. And it worked for a while, but then it stopped working. Um, same thing when I was taking sleep medications. It worked for a while, but then it stopped working and I had to take more. And that is when it became a problem uh, because of just the effects of being on those medications, you know, um, it affected me. I, you know, I had problems with short term memory, word recall and things like that because of the medications. The way it impacted work was that I traveled all the time for my job and I was uh, in different cities every week and uh, I was having problems sleeping at night and then being in living in a hotel room and then working off site and it made that um, more complicated because I was sort of felt kind of spaced out at times um, with my regards to my family. Um, you know, my wife started noticing things about me that, you know, I just was, uh, ha you know, angry. Um, I was, you know, not able to handle things as well as I used to be able to handle them as far as stress. And um, I w again, I was having a very hard time sleeping. And, you know, after going through that for weeks, I got really tired, really spaced out. My ears were ringing. Uh, I had a weird metallic taste in my mouth and, um, you know, I kind of felt kind of zoned out. Once I started uh, having, you know, issues, I saw my therapist and I went in one time and I said, I'm just not feeling well, I'm starting to feel suicidal. And so he called me and said, what about I get you, you know, checked into a hospital? You know, he said, it's like, you know, uh, it's very nice, everything, you know, they'll be able to treat you. And so I went uh, and I checked myself in the hospital initially for two weeks. And after two weeks, when I got out, uh, I went back to drinking wine at night. And so within two weeks, I was back in the hospital again. And the second time when I went in, I just threw up my hands and I said, you know, I can't do this. I, I need help. I'll do whatever you, you know, tell me to do or whatever it takes. And so I did that. I faced, um, you know, having to move out, uh, being lonely. Um, some of my friends and family didn't understand. They didn't think I had a problem. And so they kept telling me, well, you know, you don't really have a problem. You don't need this. But I, I felt like I did. And so I had to make up my own mind and um, decide that I needed to, you know, start going to AA meetings. Uh, I had to start continuing counseling. 
I had to go to a psychiatrist that was an addictionologist that uh, he helped me with my medications. And he took me off of everything that was addictive. And that was sort of, um, you know, I had some symptoms from that. You know, I had headaches, uh, you know, nightly sweats and things like that for about a month. And then finally they went away and uh, I was able to get, you know, start taking medications that weren't addictive. My life today is wonderful. Um, you know, I have no thoughts of, uh, you know, drinking or using drugs. I just enjoy life. I don't have to worry about things. I don't have to worry about, you know, being conscious that, you know, I, I had uh, word recall problems. I had problems, I needed problems. Uh, today, you know, I'm able to help other people in recovery. I'm able to help people, uh, you know, basically uh, go through the 12 step programs and things like that. So I'm able to give back. I'm much happier. And everybody that uh, knows me says I'm a new person, that I'm totally different. So that makes me feel good. And I'm able to enjoy life again. And but it is on life terms. So I have to deal with things that come up. But now I have, you know, the resources and tools uh, to meet life's challenges.